What is up, Lego fans? It's Andy here. Thanks for taking me along. I do appreciate it as always. Check out my roller coaster, guys. It is coming along quite nicely. Got that little coaster sign there on the front. Yeah, coming up real good. I think I'm about, uh, well, I'm almost through the first book, so I guess I'm almost halfway done with the coasters. Yeah, I'm excited. This this guy is huge, man. I mean, I've seen it on video a million times, but I tell you what, it just doesn't do justice to what the size really is. It is huge. If you don't have it, <laughs> you don't know what it really, what size it really is. So it's going to go nicely over there, uh, sitting right by the uh, ground line in the back, so I can't wait to get it done. And I finally put together my uh, wrecked train, although I had one piece left over, this little 1x4, this little red 1x4, I don't know where it goes. I looked at the instructions, and there are several 1x4s in red in the build, but they're like underneath like a bunch of stuff, so I'm figuring, well, if I got it together without it, it probably doesn't need it. <laughs> so, it, it, it appears to be solid, so I think we are in good shape there. Take a look at this section over here. This is where I'm going to build my mountain. Obviously, I've talked about that several times, but uh, I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if if uh, I'm going to be able to do a curve tunnel. You know what I mean? Since all the mountain pieces and slopes and whatnot are, are straight, how am I going to pull off a curved tunnel? I don't know. I think it's going to be quite challenging, don't you think? <laughs> But I think we'll worry about that when we get to it. So not quite ready to start the uh, mountain right yet. But here for too long, we, we might just do that. I got a lot of ballasting left to do here on the back side, right there underneath the elevated line going all the way through here. Got to ballast all these curves. And then coming down through here, got to ballast all this as well. That's what I bought all those half base plates for. So I need to really get on that. But... It's not as fun as building new sets. <laughs> Therefore, I build new sets instead of ballasting my track. Oh, well, we'll get to it eventually. I've got quite the storage uh, section right now, guys. I've got 35 of these three drawer units. So that's what, 35 times three, that's uh, 105 of individual drawers. And if you guys are wondering, where I got these at, these are all Sterilite drawers from Walmart. These are the wider ones. I think they're about eh, 13, 14 bucks a piece. And then my bins inside the drawers, these all come from Amazon. There's several selections you can choose from as far as like these clear uh, different size bins. You can get a variety pack coming with the, the small ones, the medium size ones. The large ones and then you got uh, let's see here I can find a big one ah, right here these are the biggest ones right here so you got all those different sizes of bins you can choose from so I've got uh, quite the parts inventory right now <laughs> but let me tell you what it wasn't cheap I've got a lot of money into these parts I, I can I can tell you that right now I've still got quite a bit of uh, bins that I haven't used yet, just kind of sitting here on the shelf. I got a bunch of railroad switches. I don't know what in the heck I'm going to do with those. I don't know why I bought so many switches. <laughs> I don't need that many switches. Got a couple more packs of road plates up there. Don't know if I'll, need, if I'll need those yet or not. There's the Tranquil Garden kind of uh, sitting right there uh, displaying itself. And then up there on top is the Disney Tribute Camera right there. Yeah, that's what these shelves were for, to display sets, but they've kind of turned into storage. <laughs> hey, another, uh, speaking of which, one of these days, I'm going to go on a brickhead building binge, if you will. <laughs> Start building all these brickheads. And then, you know, get a display for those on, on these shelves as opposed to uh, just storing the boxes right there. So I'm also going to come up with my giveaway prizes, mostly coming out of this selection right here, this section of the of the shelf right here. I'm going to 
choose from uh, several of these sets and get it ready for the uh, either the 1,000 view giveaway or the 500 subscriber giveaway. Maybe even another giveaway I haven't even devised yet, but that's possible too because I really do want to give away some Lego. So it'll be probably from these sets right here, but maybe maybe from some other sets over here too. I don't know exactly yet. We'll get to that. We talked a little bit in the last video about what set to build next, and so far I've only gotten one vote on the Boutique Hotel and one vote on the Corvette. <laughs> I need some more votes, guys. Come on. What should I build next? The uh, Boutique Hotel, the police station, the upscaled minifigure, the cozy house, or the loop coaster? That's in the running as well. What do you guys think? What, uh, what building or set should come next? But... I think that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for taking me along. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That really helps out. I really do appreciate it. Put your likes up there. Share the video. Check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash let's talk about Lego. There's a link in the description as well. If you want to pledge your two bucks a month and help me out on the channel there, that's greatly appreciated. Other than that, I think that's about it for you guys, and, and I do appreciate you watching the video. So everybody, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next. Bye-bye.